So in today's video, we are going to be going through our 2026 predictions. So I'm just kind of showing you that all the miners are off currently, but we're working on a video, which, which is also going to be a 2026 video, talking mainly about the strategy going forward for solo mining with all these machines. So currently they're all off apart from the Bitax Hex, the Zyber 8 and the Nerd QXs. And then all these other ones are off. But as I said, we're kind of working on a video to make this more of a strategy when it comes to mining but this is my prediction video of kind of where the solo bitcoin mining space or solo mining space is going into 2026 so i'm going to be giving my predictions on probably bitcoin price and also my predictions on when we'll see other blocks being hit on the network and kind of talking about the future hardware that we'll be seeing later on down the line so as I said, these are all just going to be predictions, but you guys can kind of give me your predictions in the comments below. I'm not saying that I'm going to be right because normally I'm not. But as you can see here, we've got a lot of them turned off just because the electricity price is high and we're working on a new strategy going forward into 2026. So let's head over to the computer and get into some predictions. Okay, so as I said today, we're going to be going through some predictions for the future of solo mining. And we're going to start out with the Bitcoin price. So over the past couple of months, it's kind of been up and down. So if we go to six months here, you can see we already had our all-time high of around 124, 25,000 in terms of USD. And then it's slowly come all the way down to around 87,000. I still think that going on into 2026, we'll see a little bit more of an uptick. And you're probably going to see it in quarter one or quarter two and i'm hoping that we can kind of surpass this all-time high with rates potentially dropping that frees up a lot of liquidity and with the way that things are going it could be bad going past 2026 and the four-year cycle is probably still in play for quarter two of 2026 but if there hasn't been that much of a movement by then or by the end of that then you're probably not going to see the all-time high again for bitcoin at this range at least so if it does kind of go past 2026 probably june then you're looking at a bear market from there onwards for the next three or four years and then we're probably going to come up to another all-time high again and i'm no chart expert or anything like that but just based on the past that we've seen there's probably going to be a stagnation we are looking kind of at a stagnation of the price. I don't really like to give the price predictions because people will always comment saying that you were wrong about the price, but I still think that we can go a little bit higher than this going into quarter one or quarter two, as in the possibility is there. However, if it doesn't come to fruition, then I wouldn't bet anything past that time, unless there's a massive influx into Bitcoin for some wild reason. So I wouldn't take my words as financial advice. I just think that there's potential for that to happen. But past quarter two of 2026, that's probably not going to happen for the next three-ish years until we see another all-time high. But currently, I wouldn't worry about the price of Bitcoin if you're solo mining. It doesn't necessarily matter because I feel like a lot of solo miners would worry about actually mining a Bitcoin before they worry about the price of Bitcoin. So once you mine a Bitcoin block, then you should probably be worrying about the price of Bitcoin at the time. So one thing we're also going to see going into 2026 is probably a massive spike upwards in the hash rate. In the last year, we've seen it gone from around, I'd say an average of 800 exahash, all the way up to an all-time high of 1.2 zettahash or 1.3 zettahash. So we're probably going to see a lot more hash rate hit the network. It's not going to be double, I don't think, but maybe at least 50% of what it is now. So we'll see a steady 1.5 Zeta hash on the network by the end of next year, which makes the difficulty in theory about 50% harder. So we're looking at the 300 T range to actually hit a solar block. So keep an eye on the hash rate as this increases. Obviously, the difficulty will also increase. So we've got to keep an eye on the hash rate. And it pertains to solo mining because if the hash rate is higher, then it's going to be harder to mine the block based on the difficulty. 
So those are just a few predictions. I mean, the hash rate one is pretty much set in stone. That is going to continue to rise as there's more machines coming out this year and next year. I believe that Bitmain fully releases the S23s in January. And then there'll probably be a back order of them coming online as we go throughout the year. And then there'll also be other miners that come online in the terms of solo mining and also other suppliers out there. So when it comes to solo mining, I think we're definitely going to see more Bitcoin blocks being hit. On average, we've seen one every around 200 days since the inception of the Bitax. So I think there was one in the first year of running the Bitaxes. And then there's just recently been one for a Bitax and then one for a nerd QX. So judging based on the probabilities, we're probably going to see at least two or three happening next year based on the amount of hash rate we have compared to the difficulty or the hash rate that we see on the Bitcoin network. For example, we've had these three confirmed blocks. So I believe this was the first one in 2024 that was successfully mined by a solo miner. And this was on solo CK pool and with a Bitax. So that was quite a while ago, around one and a half years ago. And then we have another one here, which was in this year, March 2025. Solo miner with a Bitax miner found this block earning 3.15 Bitcoin at those odds. But I don't actually know which one they were using by here. I know the first one was an ultra, but I don't know what miner they were actually using here. It might have been a max or an ultra. And then lastly, we saw that one around two months ago, which was the nerd QX++ block. And that was obviously hit on that machine. So we've had three confirmed blocks. There might have been another one floating around, but we don't really know as of yet, as some people could just have them running as part of a farm and never know that it hit an actual block. But these are the three confirmed ones, and that's been in the last two years, kind of in the inception of Bitcoin or solo Bitcoin miners being widely available to the public. And then based on the hash rate on public pool, so this doesn't count for any other solo miners that are out there, but just strictly based on public pool, you can see that the solo odds chance at around 40 petahash is 169 days. So just on public pool, you would expect to see at least two blocks being hit by solo miners. And that includes the Bitax, Nerd QX, some for the Avalon Nano, Nerd Octax, uh, the nerd X, and then a bunch of other solo miners down here. So we're definitely going to see a lot more. I would expect at least three blocks being hit by solo miners next year. And probably at the upper end, if the trend continues in terms of how many miners are coming online or how many people are getting into solo mining, you'll probably see about five or six at the higher end predictions for how many blocks are going to be hit by these solo miners. And that is not necessarily on the bit X but it could be on any of these miners that you see here. We're still awaiting one from the Avalon Nano. So I haven't seen anyone hit a Bitax block. I haven't seen anyone hit a Bitcoin block on the Avalon Nano yet, but maybe we'll see one of those next year. I was very surprised by the Nerd QX one, and I'm hoping to see other miners hit blocks as well in terms of the Octax or even the bigger miners like the Zyber 8 or Zyber S that are coming online throughout the year. So another prediction that we're also gonna see, and we're kind of already seeing it, is the creation of new solo miners for other algorithms. So you already have SHA-256, which is Bitcoin, and pretty much every other coin, and pretty much a lot of the coins that you'd wanna mine. And then you have Script, which we've already seen a solo miner for that, and that's very popular. I've seen a lot of people comment on the video that we made saying that they want one of these and that is going to be available probably within the next six months depending on when and then you have other things like a casper coin one that potentially could come in the future and i think the rest of these algorithms are mainly gpu or cpu mineable but i definitely think we're going to see at the end of 2026 more script miners a lot of people are probably going to flock to them as they have a little bit more potential to actually hit a Dogecoin block or a Litecoin block. And you don't actually have that extra added 
risk of not being able to hit a Bitcoin block. So that's one of the main risks that you have for Bitcoin Cash is if you're mining this and you hit one that is in the Bitcoin range for the difficulty, then you've missed out on a Bitcoin block. However, with Script, the highest that you'll ever kind of go for is Dogecoin and the odds of hitting one are probably the same as Bitcoin Cash. So I think we're going to see a lot of people migrate over to these Script solo miners if they haven't already. And I know that there are some smaller miners for Script that you can buy kind of like on the Avalon Nano range. But I think that we're going to see more in the BitAx style or Nerd QX style that you normally see for Bitcoin mining. And it also eliminates the risk of missing out on the big Bitcoin block. You can just mine Dogecoin and then you eliminate that kind of risk. And you can also merge mine with them. So that might be something that a lot of people are interested in as there's not really too much in terms of the merge mining on Bitcoin or on SHA-256. There's a heavier amount of merge mining going on on the script algorithm coin. So we'll definitely see more miners coming on for solo mining script as well. I don't think there's any ones that are kind of big enough as you go down the line to warrant a solo miner for them. And I don't know, maybe in the future we can go back to our GPU mining or CPU mining routes and mine some of these solo for a little bit extra on top of the mining farm. But that will probably be coming in on a next video where we talk about our mining strategy going forward. This is more predictions going forward. But when we're looking at Bitcoin Cash, you have a little bit of a different chart than what you see on Bitcoin normally. So we've had peaks and troughs on Bitcoin Cash that we don't normally see in terms of the Bitcoin chart. So it might be something to look forward to in the future is a lower difficulty on Bitcoin Cash compared to the Bitcoin difficulty. And that may have potential for us to hit a block in the future on Bitcoin Cash mining. As you can see, there's kind of ups and downs that you don't see on the Bitcoin hash rate chart. Normally the Bitcoin hash rate one is just a straight rise upwards but this trend line is not as defined as the Bitcoin one. So that might be something to look into in the future, but the price of Bitcoin Cash also goes down a lot more than when Bitcoin goes down. So it's something that we have to think about going forward into the future. And you can see these drop-offs in price or the seven day price change is actually different in terms of Bitcoin Cash compared to Bitcoin. So you have a little bit of a decoupling on the Bitcoin cash price to the Bitcoin price. Normally, as you can see with all of these, they follow the same price as Bitcoin, mainly with the coins, but you have some outliers, Bitcoin cash being one of them for now. But when Bitcoin was higher, Bitcoin cash was also lower. It's kind of an opposite and they do tend to follow each other after a certain period of time. So if something happens on Bitcoin, it kind of has an impact on Bitcoin Cash later down the line. But it looks like Monero is doing very well against all of these as well. There's a couple of outliers as you go down here as well. Ergo being one of them, but that's a GPU mineable coin. I don't think we're going to see in the future. I know that we mainly talk about solar mining now, but in the future, I don't think we're going to see too much going on in terms of CPU or GPU mining. A lot of people have migrated away from that just because the margins are so small and they'd rather try their luck at trying to hit a Bitcoin block. And I don't think the profitability is there anymore for at least GPU or CPU miners as the power costs are getting higher and there's bigger farms out there that can produce better margins for these coins. So you have a monopoly over a lot of networks in terms of the mining farms that have big GPU mining farms or big CPU mining farms. But that is all my predictions going forward into 2026. We'll probably make a video at the end of 2026 or at the start of 2027, kind of covering my predictions and we'll see how much we got right. But you guys can leave your predictions in the comments below and let me know your thoughts on these predictions that I've made. Make sure you like this video and subscribe for more content like this.